Impressions. This presentation has been prepared by Musaev Emin, the Center of Orthopedic Dentistry Department. Impression techniques in complete denture. Extraoral examination. Non-fitting upper denture. Oral cavity of toothness patient. Intraoral examination. Prominent maxillary tori. Introduction. Impression. A negative replica of copy in re reverse of the surface of an object. An impression can also be defined as a imprint of the teeth and adjustment structures for use in dentistry. Complete denture pre impression. A complete denture impression is a negative registration of the entire denture bearing, stabilizing and border seal areas present in the edentulous mouse. Preliminary impression. A preliminary impression is an, is an impression made for the purpose of diagnosis or for the construction of a tray. Mexican impression, making primary impression using alginate. <coughs> Basic requirements for impression making. Knowledge of basic anatomy, knowledge of basic reliable technique, knowledge and understanding of impression, materials, skill, patient management. Objectives of impression making. Retention, stability, support, aesthetics, preservation or remaining structures. <coughs> Retention. Retention is defined as the ability of danger to resist the displacement against vertical forces. Factors affecting the tension. Anatomical factors, physiological factors, physical factors, mechanical factors, muscular factors. Factor affecting retention. Anatomical factors. Size of the denture bearing area. Quality of the denture bearing area. Physiological factors, factors affecting retention, saliva and its quality. Factor affecting retention, physical factors, adhesion, cohesion, interfascial surface tension, capillarity and capillarity attraction, atmospheric pressure and peripheral seal. Adhesion. It is the physical attraction of unlike molecules. It acts when saliva sticks to the denture base and to the mucous membrane of basal seed. Adhesion is achieved by ionic forces between charged salivary, glycoproteins and surface epithelium or acrylic resin. Quality of adhesion depends on close adaption of denture, size of denture, bearing area, type of saliva. The most adhesive saliva is this serious but contain some mucous component. Thick and ropey saliva is very adhesive but tends to build up so that it's too thick in palatal area and interferes with oral adaption. Adaptation. In this situation, patients should rinse out the ropey saliva every two to three hours. The amount of retention provided by adhesion is directly proportional to the area covered by denture. Mandibular dentures cover less surface areas that maxillary prosthetics and tier 4 are, are subject to a lower magnitude of 
adgesive retentive forces. Similarly, participations with small jaws or very flat alveolar ridges reach, cannot expect retention to be as great, great as can patients with large jaws or prominent alveoli. Cohesion It is the physical attraction of like molecules for each other. It occurs within the layer of fluid, usually saliva, that is present between the denture base and the mucosa. Normal saliva isn't very cohesive, therefore most of the retentive forces of denture mucosa interface comes from adhesive and interfacial surface tension factors. Interfacial surface tension is the resistance to separation of two parallel surfaces that is imparted by a film of liquid between them. It is dependent on the ability of the fluid to wet the rigid surrounding material. If the surrounding material has low surface tension, as oral mucosa does, fluid will maximize its contact with the material, therapy wetting it readily and spreading out in a thin film. If the material has high surface tension, fluid will minimize its contact with the material, results in formation of bead on the material surface. All denture based material have higher surface tension than oral mucosa, but once coated by salivary pellicle, their surface tension is reduced, which promotes maximizing the surface area between liquid and base. Role of surface tension is through capillary attraction or capillarity. When the adaptation of denture base to mucosa is suff suff Efficiently close, the place filled with a thin film of saliva act like a capillary tube in that the liquid seeks to increase its contact with both denture and mucosal surface. It plays a major role in retention or maxillary denture. It's totally dependent depend on mm, presence of air at the margin or of liquid and solid contact. Liquid-air interface. As there is excess saliva along the lower border of mandibular denture, surface tension is lost in mandibular denture due to loss of liquid-air interface at denture border. Mucostatic dismiss adhesion and cohesion as factors in retention, the entire phenomenon by being attributed to interfacial surface tension. But an analysis has provided that if it wasn't for the forces of adhesion and cohesion, the forces of interfacial surface tension won't exist. Attachment of the denture is possible because both teeth and denture base material can become wet, which means its molecule will adhere to water molecules. Oral and uh, facial musculature supplement retentive for, uh, forces provided. A teeth are positioned in natural zone between the cheeks and tongue, b the polished surface or the of the denture are properly shaped. Atmospheric pressure act to resist dislodging forces applied to the denture if the denture have an effective seal around their borders. Retention due to atmospheric pressure is directly proportional to the area covered by the denture base. 
in function atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is superior to interfacial surface tension as a retensive force for forces horizontal as well as parallel to the mean on mucosal plane are resisted interfacial surface tension will resist only forces perpendicular to the axial of surface tension forces factor affecting retention mechanical factors undercuts retentive springs magnetic forces denture adhesive suction chambers and suction discs factors affecting retention muscular factors the muscles apply supplementary retentive forces on the denture it's most effective in the natural zone factors affecting stability vertical head of the residual ridge quality of soft teeth covering the ridge occl occlusal plane quality of the impression teeth ar arrangement contour of the polished surfaces support is the resistance to vertical forces of mastication and to occlusal or other forces applied in a direction towards the basal seat unfortunately they were never means to endure to forces of mastication and other constant occlusal pressures that result from swallowing clenching or brushing to make the best of bad situation it's necessary to change the available support to utilizing maximum coverage of all usable reach bearing areas areas of support are divided into primary secondary slide Primary support area, area of a dangerous reach that are at right angle to occlusal forces and usually don't resorb easily. Maxillary, posterior right reach, flat areas of the palate, mandibular, buccal shelf zone area, posterior reach, pear shaped uh, pad. Secondary supporting area, area of dangerous reach that are greater than at right angle to occlusal forces also the area of dentulous reach that are at right angle to occlusal forces but tend to resorb under load maxillary anterior reach hook and all reach slopes mandibular anterior reach and all reach slopes aesthetics the uh, thickness of the denture flanks is one of the important factors that go on aesthetics. Thicker denture flanks are preferred in long-term edentulous patients to give required labial fullness. Impression should perfectly reproduce the white and height of the entire sulcus for the proper fabrication uh, of the flanks. Preservation of remaining structures. The one stated that the preservation of that which remains is of utmost importance and not the matter cause replacement of that which has been lost. Impressions should record the details of the basal seat and peripheral structures in an appropriate form to prevent injury to the oral tissues impressions classification depending of on theories or of impression making Mucostatic, mucocompressive, selective pressure. 
Homocostatic or passive impression, first proposed by Richardson and later popularized by Harry Page. The impression is made with the oral mucous membrane and the jaws in a normal relaxed condition. Border molding isn't done here. The impression is made with an oversized tray. Impression material of choice is impression plaster. Retention is mainly due to inter facial surface tension. The mucostatic technique results is a, in a denture which is closely adapted to the mucosa of the denture bearing area but has poor peripheral seal. A muco compressive impression Carol Jones records uh, the oral tissues uh, in a functional and displaced form. The material used for this technique include impression compound, waxes and soft liners. The oral soft tissues all are resilient, resil resilient and sustained to return to their anatomical position once the force are relieved. Dangers made by this technique tend to get displaced due to the tissue rebound at rest. During function, the constant pressure exert onto the soft tissues limit the blood uh, circulation leading to residual rich resorption. Selective pressure impression Pucher. In this technique, the impression is made to extend to extend over as much denture bearing area as possible without inter interfering with the limiting structures and function and rest. The selective pressure technique makes it possible to confine the forces acting on the denture to the stress bearing areas. This is uh, achieved through the design of the special tray in which the non stress bearing areas are relieved and the stress bearing areas are allowed to come in contact with the tray. Depending on the technique, open mouse, closed mouse. Open mouse impressions. Open mouse impressions. The open mouse impression is built in a tray which carries the impression material of choice into the desired contact with the supporting tissues and into an approximate relation to the peripheral tissues when the mouse is opened and without applied pressure. The retinal behind this method is that the dentures uh, do not, uh, don't dislodge when subjects uh, to uh, beating force. The open mass methods provide clearance for the tissues that are pulled over the edge of the uh, dentures as in function of speed. It develops a contour of impression surface which is in harmony with the relaxed supporting tissues and which may be out of perfect adaptation with these tissues when the denture is subject to occlusal loading. Close mouth impression technique. This requires wax occlusal rims to be fabricated on the mm, uh, preliminary cast. The patient is made to close of these rims and a generous clearance is made for the various frenula so that the patient can manipulate his tissues by closing, grimacing, sucking and swallowing to form peripheral borders. Depending on the tray type, stock tray, custom tray. Type of tray. Some dentists use a stock tray and an impression material. 
such as arginate impression plaster or impression compound is used. However, such impressions are generally overextended and serve as primary impressions. Edentrostock trays Edentrostock trays from maxillum and mandibulum Dental stock trays for maxillum mandible. <laughs> Two and three millimeter clearance required between the tray and the tissues. On casts made from this primary impression, special custom trays are fabricated. The tray is tried in the mouth and modified and the final impressions are made using sink or sink oxide, ergonol or other such materials. Depending on the purpose of the impression, diagnostic secondary primary. Diagnostic impression. The negative replica of the oral tissues used to prepare a diagnostic cast used for study purposes like measuring the undercuts, locating the path of insertion is made as a part of treatment plan and to estimate to the amount of preprosthetic surgery, articulate the casts on tentative jaw relation and evaluate the interarch space. Primary impression, preliminary impression, an impression made for the purpose of diagnosis or for the construction of a tray. There should be at least 5 mm clearance between the stock tray and the ridge. The tray should extend over humular notch and maxillary tuberosity. Mandibular tray should cover retromalar pad. Tray can be extended using modeling wax. Impression compound alginate impression plaster. Herbs appliance. Fitting of individual spoon on the maxilla according to hurt herbs. Red color, white opening of mouth, green color, retraction of cheeks, blue color, pulling the lips out, pink color, correction according to line. Herbs tests fitting of individual tray or mandible. Mandible. Red color mouth opening, green color swallowing, blue pulling the lips out, purple color licking the lower lip, pink color emphasis of tongue on the cheeks, blue color hold the tongue over the upper red lip border. Adjustment of individual tray with the herbs tests on mandible. Adjustment of individual tray 
with the herbs test on maxilla. Individual trays mounted with orthocore before placing into oral cavity. Making of individual tray. with some materials. Functional impression taken with the help of repeat zinc oxidative genome mass silicon. Reference points on head for determination and forming of prosthetic plane. Occlusal plane should be parallel to the vertebrous line. Determination of head of relative physiological rest. Friends points are being marked on vestibular surface of rim. Secondary impression, wash impression, involve fabrication, fabrication of custom tray, border molding, developing the posterior palatal seal making the wash impression. Secondary impression, wash impression involve the same. Depending on the material used. Impression techniques Impression techniques may be classified depending on amount of pressure used, pressure technique, minimal pressure technique, selective pressure technique, based on the position of the mouth while making impression, open mouth, closed mouth, Based on the method of manipulation for border molding, hand manipulation, functional movement. Open mouth technique. Made with tray held by dentist and mouth open. Muscle movements may be emphasized and can be seen by the operator. Closed mouth technique. The rational being this technique is that the supporting tissues are recorded in a functional relationship. Required occlusal ring to be made, border molding down and final impressions made. Hand manipulation. Dentist uses hand manipulation for movements of lips and cheeks. Functional movements. Patient makes functional movements such as sucking, swallowing, licking and grinning. Steps in making an impression. A preliminary examination of the patient, seating the patient, selection of the tray, selection of the material, making impression primary, border molding secondary. Preliminary examination of the patient. A complete case history and through clinical examination is done. Factors that can complicate impression making are identified. identified. Patient education. Sitting of the patient. Position of the operator for maxillary impression. Position of, of the operator for mandibular impression.
selection of trays. The beginning of good impressions started with the selection of the correct stock tray. Tray is a device that is used to carry, confine and control impression material while making an impression. The space available in the mouse for upper impression is studied carefully by observation of the width and height of the vestibular spaces with mouse partly one and in the lower the general form and size of basal seat is studied. Impression procedures First technique border molded special tray Preliminary impression An adventure stock metal tray that is approximately uh, 6 mm larger than the outside surface of the residual ridge is selected. The borders of the stock tray are lined with a strip, uh, strip of soft boxing wax, so a rim is created to help confine the alginate material. The objective is to obtain a, a preliminary impression that is slightly over uh, extended around the borders. The tissue surface and borders of the tray, including the rim of wax, are painted with an adhesive material. The loaded tray is positioned in the mouse. The tray is left in the mouse for one minute after the initial set. The impression is removed and inspected to ensure all basal seat as included. The impression is poured in artificial stone. Primary impression making with alginate, maxillary. Mandibular impression with alginate. A wax spacer is placed within the outline border to provide space in the tray for final impression material, a custom tray made using self-curing acrylic resin. Preparating the final, impre final impression tray, border molding is a process by which the shape of the borders of the tray is made to conform accurately to the contours of the buccal and labial vestibules. It begins with manipulation of the border tissues against a moldable impression material that is properly supported and controlled by tray. Border molding Mandibular border molding Stick modeling compound is added in selection in sections to the shortened borders of the resin tray and molded to a form that will be in a harmony with the physiologic action of the limited anatomic structures. The final impression material is mixed according to manufacturer's direction directions and uniformly distributed within the tray. Secondary impression Mandibular secondary impression Second technique one step border molded tray a material that will allow a simultaneous molding of all borders has two general advantages. The number of insertion of the tray for maxillary and mandibular border molding is reduced. Developing all borders simultaneously avoids propagation of errors causes by a mistake in one section affecting the border contours in another. The requirements of such a material are that it should have uh, sufficient body to allow it to remain in position on the borders during loading of the tray, allow some uh, pre-shaping of the form of the borders without 
adhering to the fingers uh, have a setting time of three to five minutes retain adequate flow while the tray is seated in the mouse a low finger placement of the material into deficient parts after the tray is seated not cause excessive displacement of the tissues of the vestibule be readily trimmed and shaped so excess material can be carved and the borders shaped before the final impression is made The following procedure utilizes polyether impression materials for border molding. Place adhesive for polyester impressions on the borders of tray. Express a syringe strip of polyester material from large tube onto a mixing pack. Next, express 2.5 uh, inches of catalyst to provide uh, sufficient working time to complete border molding solely mix material for 30 to 45 seconds using a metal spatula position the polyester material on the borders making certain that a minimum white width of um, uh, 6 mm exists on inner portion Quickly pre-shape material to proper contours with fingers moistened in cold water. Place the impression tray in the mouse. Inspect all borders to be sure that impression material is present in the vestibule. Border molding is done. Remove tray when impression material is set. Examine border molding to determine that it's adequate. Preparing the tray to secure the final impression. Reduce the borders on the tray that protrude through the polyether. Remove any material that extended internally within the tray more than uh, 6 mm. Remove the relief plaques. Reduce the thickness of labial flank to approximately 2.5 to 3 mm from one book of frenum to another. Make the final impression in silicone metallic oxide paste or rubber base. Third technique, custom tray design based uh, on previously worn denture. The denture is treated like a standard impression and a stone cast is poured. An acrylic resin tray is made on the cast over a wax space, uh, spacer that is outlined just short of the borders of the impressions. The tray is tried in the mouth and checks for over extensions. The spacer is removed, the relief hole, holes prepared and adhesive is applied and an impression is made in the preferred material. Occlusion in complete denture prosthodontics. Introduction. Occlude means to close. The static relationship between the seizing or masticating surfaces of the maxillary or mandibular teeth or tooth analogs PT6 GPTH. The act or process of closure of, of being closed or shut off. Any contact between the incising or masticating surfaces of the maxillary and mandibular teeth. Occlusion is an important factor which governs the retention and stability of the complete denture in vivo. Occlusal concepts Balanced and non-balanced occlusion Incisal guidance and candular guidance Occlusion The act or process of closure or 
of being closed or shut off. The static relationship between the incising or masticating surfaces of the maxillary of mandibular teeth or tooth. Articulation The static and dynamic contact relationship between the occlusal surfaces of the teeth during function. A terminology Centric occlusion Eccentric occlusion maximum inter spation excusive movement balancing side or non working side balancing interferences centric occlusion the occlusion or of opposing teeth when the mandible is in centric relation this may or may not coincide with the maximal intercostal position. Centric occlusion and occlusion other than centric occlusion. Maximum intercuspation, complete intercuspation or opposing teeth independent of condylar positions. Exercise movement, movement occurring the when mandible moved moves away from maximum intercuspation balancing side or non working side the side of mandible which which moves during median line during lateral excursions excursions balancing interferences under cerebral contacts occurring on balancing side during lateral movements. Adduce case to normal dental occlusion consists with 6K K1 molar relationship K2 crone angulation K3 groan inclination torque, K4 rotation, K5 tight contacts, K6 curve of speed. K2 K3 and K4 K5 and K6 Draw movements Only the mandibular arch moves A working lateral protrusive movement equal towards the side that the mandible moves towards non-working Mediotrusive balancing movement, not the side that the mandible moves uh, toward. Protrusion equal moving the mandible forward in an anterior posterior plane. Retraction, retrusion, moving the mandible backward in an anterior posterior plane. mandibular movement for example on the case the up and down motion of the mandible is a combination of two movements Next, the 
this is mandibular movement protrusive variant and Bennett movement during lateral excursion the bodily shift of the mandible in the direction of the working side was first described by Bennett Bennett movement by this author the angle formed in the horizontal plane between the pathway of the NWV condyle, the mandibular translation and the sagittal plane is called the Bennett angle. Difference between natural and artificial occlusion natural teeth and artificial teeth principles of occlusion for complete dentures initial and complete occlusal contact in centric relation called centric occlusion all anterior and posterior denture teeth enclosed and uh, surfaces must uh, function as a unit during exclusive movements. Any prematurity, any prematurity must be eliminated. Posterior denture teeth contact with protrude. Anterior tooth contact is counter contraindicated in centric occlusion. Occlusion for complete dentures. Balanced occlusion balanced occlusion consists of bilateral simultaneous Anterior and posterior occlusal contact is in centric and eccentric positions. Two, monoplane occlusion positioned in a single plane. And four, lingualized occlusion. The maxillary lingual cups, cusp with the mandibular occlusal surface in centric working and non working mandibular positions selecting the occlusal scheme anatomic tools semi-anatomic tools non-anatomic tools concepts of occlusion balanced occlusion uh, anatomic balanced semi-anatomic balanced non-anatomic balanced lingualized balanced Non-balanced occlusion, monoplane occlusion, the conventional monoplane, natrocentric mon concept, and lingualized, non-balanced. Balanced occlusion, anatomic balance, semi-anatomic balance, non-anatomic balance, uh, and uh, lingualized balanced non-anatomic balanced the compensating curve uh, tilting the second molar placing the balancing ramp factors influencing balanced inclusion Hanaus gwint candular guidance incisal guidance, occlusal plane, compensating curve, inclination of the cups. Concepts of occlusion. Unlike natural teeth, the artificial teeth act as a single unit. Hence, the should minimum of three contact points, usually one anterior and two posterior, for the even distribution and stabilization of denture 
at any position of mandible. Complete the inter occlusion varies with type of the teeth selected. Anatomic teeth should be arranged in uh, balanced occlusion and non-anatomic teeth should be arranged in monoplane occlusion. All the occlusal forms should have third contact in centric relation. All the occlusal forms are based on different concepts of occlusion, which are spherical concept of occlusion, organic concept of occlusion, and neutrocentric concept of occlusion. Spherical concept of occlusion uh, presenting by Monson in uh, 1920. An ideal uh, curve of occlusion in which each cusp and incisal edge touch the surface of an imaginary sphere 8 inches in diameter. Monson proposed that lower teeth moves over the surface, the surface of the upper teeth as over the surface of the sphere with a diameter of h, 20 cm. The center of the sphere is located in the region of glabella and surfaces of the sphere passes through the glenoid fossa along the articulating eminences articulating eminences organic concept of occlusion and natro centric concept of occlusion Sears axioms of complete danger occlusion. Ideal requirements of complete danger occlusion. Stability of the denture and its occlusion when the mandible is in both centric and eccentric relations. Balanced occlusal contacts and locking the cusps measure distally so that the denture can settle down when there is a rich resorption. Functional lever balance should be obtained by vertical tools to reach crest relationship. Cutting, penetrating and shearing efficiently of occlusal surface, minimal array of contact. In C so clearance during posterior functions, sharp reach cusps and uh, sluice ways to increase masticatory efficiency. Occlusal mm, schemes requires it to fulfill the requirements. Occlusion schemes has three requisites. One, incisive units. Two, working units. Uh, three, balancing units. Occlusal schemes have been classified into neutrocentric occlusion, lingualized occlusion, non anatomic occlusion, monoplane occlusion with balance, linear occlusion, balanced occlusion. Balanced occlusion. The bilateral 
simultaneous anterior and posterior occlusal contact of these in centric and eccentric positions. It's not seen in natural dentition. And then characteristic requirements of balanced occlusion. Importance of balanced occlusion. General consideration for balanced occlusion. The wider and larger the reach and the teeth closer to the right, the greater the lower balance. Wider the reach and narrower the teeth, bucolingually greater the balance. The more lingual the teeth are placed in relation to the reach crest, the greater the balance, the more centered the force of occlusion anterior posteriorly, the greater the stability of the base. Types of balance occlusion. Occlusal balance or balanced occlusion can be classified as follows. Unilateral balanced occlusion, bilateral balanced occlusion, protrusive balanced occlusion, lateral balance occlusion. Bilateral balance occlusion, protrusive balance occlusion, lateral balance occlusion. Concepts proposed to attain balanced occlusion, Giese's concept. He proposed the first concept towards balanced occlusion in uh, 1940. 1940. He suggested arranging 33 degree anatomic teeth could be used under various movements of the articulator to, in, to enhance the stability of the denture. Then French conception, French concept and Sears concept. And other concepts. Nine factors uh, governing the articulation are called as Ganau's laws of articulation. Horizontal condylar guidance, uh, compensating curve, protrusive incisional guidance, plane of orientation, buccolingual inclination of the tooth axis, sagittal condylar pathway, sagittal incisional guidance, tooth um, alignment, relative cusp height. Hanau later condensed these nine factors and formulated five factors which are commonly known as Hanau's quint. Candular uh, guidance, incisal guidance, uh, compensating curves, relative cusp height, Plane of orientation of occlusal plane. Other concept, Trapazano concepts by Arthur Trapazano and Boucher's concept. Lotz concept, mm -hmm. 
and Bernard Slavin's concept. Factors influencing balanced occlusion. Inclination on the condylar path, incisal guidance, orientation of the plane of occlusion, cuspal angulation, and uh, compensating curve. Condylar guidance. Recorded from the patient using protrusive registration, the interocclusal records are transferred to the articulator and then accommodated to glide freely into position. Component of horizontal uh, guidance. anterior guidance, incisal guidance, defined as influence of contacting surfaces of maxillary and mandibular teeth during mandibular movements. Plane of occlusion or occlusal plane. Compensating curve. Two types. Consist two types. Anter posterior compensating curve, lateral compensating curve. curve. Curvus P consists under posterior compensating curves. Posterior teeth separation when the curve of P not incorporated incorporating the curve spi with will provide posterior tooth contact during protrusion lateral compensating curve curves compensating curve to monson curve for monson curve Wilson's curve, pleasure curve, reverse curve, and cuspal angulation. Natrocentric occlusion. Natrocentric occlusion is at the far right of the occlusal spectrum and the exact opposite of the anatomic occlusion was developed by Devan. Devan coined the term natrocentric to embody the two case objectives of his occlusal scheme. The neutralization of inclines, the centralization of forces which act on the basal seat when the mandible is in centric relation to the maxilla. There are five elements in this occlusal scheme position, proportion, pitch, form, number.
position proportion pitch form and number Lingualize occlusion concept was introduced by Alfred Gysi in 1927. A lingualized occlusion can be defined as a form of denture occlusion that, where the maxillary lingual cusps articulate with the mandibular occlusion surface in centric working and non working mandibular position. Lingualized occlusion. A lingualized occlusion can be a type of bilaterally balanced occlusion schemes. Anatomic teeth are used in the maxilla opposing a flat cusped or shallow cusped mandibular tooth. Forces directed toward lingual side. Maxillary lingual cusps articulate with the mandibular central fossa. Elimination of contacts on the buccal cusps in both centric and eccentric. The aim is to provide greater masticating efficiently and the elimination of lateral interference. Maxillary lingual cusps firmly contact bilaterally simultaneously. Working excursion, balancing excursion, a lingualized occlusion shouldn't be confused with placement of the mandibular teeth lingual to the ridge crest. And monoplane occlusion. Sia introduced monoplane occlusion with balancing ramps or tools at the distal part of the mandibular arch which comes in contact only in eccentric excursion. Divan has used the same principle without the balancing ramp. According to this concept, teeth which are flat mesio distally and buca lingually are used, orients, oriented as close as possible, parallel to the maxillary and mandibular mean foundation plane. Monoplane articulation, teeth setting, no overbite would cause tilting, overjet of 2 mm is used to create an illus illusion of overbite. Excursions may or may not contact on balancing sides. Monoplane articulation, monoplane occlusion without candular influence, indication, Conclusion. Many occlusal schemes have been proposed over the years. Most schemes, when correctly used, gives satisfactory results. The result is 
satisfactory if the patient gets better function, aesthetics and comfort without any adverse changes in danger foundation.